Hi there, I'm Brian. I live in Central Texas. I am a former Republican, now independent. My journey away from the Republican Party began when the Republican Party nominated Donald Trump. I, I don't care for the man, and I know why. Here's, here's four of the reasons. I'm not going to waste your time. First of all, he talks trash about veterans. I'm a veteran, and if 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 he's if I'm not looking him in the face and talking to him straight up, he call you know he'll call me a loser and a sucker. Of course, when groups of veterans go and visit the White House, then it's hearts, flowers, and honor. But no, the man's heart is just not in it. You can kind of tell. Number two, he encourages white supremacists, violent white supremacists, uh, Proud Boys groups like that. Yeah, stand down and stand by. It's dog whistle, dog whistle after dog whistle. I, I married, I married a woman, an Italian woman who had dark skin. And uh, my grandfather was also racist, a, a man of, of Donald Trump's time. And, and, and I brought her home. And the first words out of my granddad's mouth was, why do you have to marry one of those? Now, my grandfather had enough guts to admit that he was racist, that he was having a hard time with me marrying a woman with dark skin. You know, but Donald doesn't. He, he won't admit it. He doesn't have the courage to admit that he holds racist views. Hey, if you feel that way, own it. But I don't think our president has that kind of guts. Uh, number three, he likes prosperity gospel preachers like Paula White, one of his favorites. You know, it, it, this, it, this preacher asked her followers to send her all of their earnings for the month of January. Yeah, that's what he calls a Christian. That's what he think, thinks the height of Christian thought is. Send me money. No, I'm a Christian myself. Uh-uh. That's not Christianity. Speaking of which, my final word on this, I don't think Donald Trump is a Christian. I don't hear repentance. I don't hear anything out of his mouth, even acknowledging what he has done in the past to people, putting all those contractors out of work and in some cases into bankruptcy in Atlantic City, the, the way he ran his uh, his apartments, his slumlord days in New York, you don't hear any repentance from that. All that you hear is, oh, I was in the past and I'm a better person now. You know, I just don't see the evidence. When, when you look at the man all over and consider all of the bad acts, all of the stupid things he said, all of the dumb things he's done while he's been president, the way he's lied to you, to me. No, I voted for Joe Biden, and I'm going a step further. I voted for MJ Hagar. No, John Cornyn, you lost my vote when you sycophantically started kissing up to that president that I'm speaking about. Ted Cruz, you're... I voted for Beto O'Rourke. Beto will look you in the eye, tell you how he feels, and you can trust that that is the truth. Senator Cruz, I don't trust you. I don't believe a word you say. I don't believe a word you say, John Cornyn. And Donald John Trump, Mr. President, I don't believe anything you say. I want a man like D Joe Biden. I disagree with him on a lot of things. But he tells you what he believes, and I believe him. That's the kind of man who is going to be my president, and I hope he gets elected. I'm doing everything to help. Thank you for your time, and uh, have a good day.